<sighs> well, I guess we should start the drive back. I'll never understand why you would come back home from school to visit for only one weekend. Like, we definitely need more time than that to catch up. But I guess we have the drive back to talk a little bit more before you leave me again. <laughs> Jeez, you brought so much stuff. You know my car isn't that big, right? <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I did give you too many leftovers and gifts. But I just want to make sure that you're comfortable while you're away. I mean, you're halfway through college and I haven't even heard a single thing about it from you. Who knows what kind of things you could be getting into, or what kind of people you're meeting or anything really i still won't forgive that admission committee for rejecting my application i guess we know who the smarter friend of the two of us is now <laughs> you are though don't deny it you've always been the more studious one i was hoping to get some kind of sports scholarship or something just to be in the same school as you because I knew my grades weren't going to cut it. But you, with all your big brains, <laughs> I'm sure you're just doing great in all those science clubs and honor societies. You know, really exercising that brain of yours. <laughs> See, I knew you'd be interested in the academic groups. So, what society are you thinking of joining? Maybe something with engineering, or... Oh, you... you want to join a social club? But I... I thought you didn't like being in big groups of people. I thought you preferred to study on your own and work on your own research. You always said that you only liked hanging out with me. Well, yeah, I get that college is all about trying new things, but... Why would you join something like that? But you don't need to break out of your shell. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to meet new people. You don't need anyone else but me. How did you even hear about these groups? What, were the research collectives not promoting themselves enough? <laughs> I'm sure they're on campus. You would just do so much better at working there on your own. You don't need to start branching out, and you definitely don't need to be making connections. Where are all these ideas coming from? You were so content being alone before. You were my favorite little hermit, remember? Your roommate? Your roommate told you about it? Since, since when did you have a roommate? When I helped you move into your dorm freshman year, we made sure that you were living alone. When did all of that change? Y you got lonely? Then why didn't you call me? I would have come to the school in a heartbeat. You know that. Instead, you were scouring this filthy campus for any piece of scum that could afford the rent. <sighs> I am watching the road. I'm just surprised, is all. What happened to you? What happened to us? You are my little lonely friend. I remember how your face would brighten up whenever I came to visit you during one of your study sessions by yourself. Back when I was the only person you needed. And you were the only person that I needed. You, you still are the only person that I need. Now you're running around among these undeserving idiots, trying to find friends and make connections. Well, you don't need any more connections. The only connection you need is to me. No, 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 we don't have to pull over. I'm fine, it's fine. I can keep driving. I just... It's, it's totally fine. 
I knew I should have called that admission committee. I knew I should have forced them to accept me. I should have bribed them. I should have threatened them. That way, you wouldn't have to look for anyone else. And you wouldn't be lonely, because I would be right by your side, always. You wouldn't need someone to take my place if I never left your side. <laughs> What's part of the college experience? Stumbling around campus late at night drunk with your roommate and some people that you met at a bar that you shouldn't even be at? <laughs> Leaning on them while you share their warmth before you clumsily make your way to your room. I don't even want to think about it. Watch where you're going! Don't you know the kinds of people that are walking around that godforsaken place you call a college campus? You know, to be honest, I didn't even want you to go to that place. I didn't want you to be in that hellhole. I didn't even want you to apply. And when you told me that you got in, my heart sank. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest. To think that you would be away from me for so damn long. But you were smiling so wide when you told me. And you just looked so damn happy. I couldn't stop you. I just couldn't. I figured the time wouldn't be too bad and... You'd be my same little nerd. I would just drop by every couple of weeks to make sure you were okay, you know? Just watch you walk to class by yourself. Watch you go eat in the dining hall by yourself. It was the perfect plan. <laughs> you say you were lonely, but you never were truly alone. I was always there with you, making sure you were okay. Even if you didn't see me. But then you started to disappear. I couldn't find you in your normal places. I just figured maybe your course load got a bit heavier. Little did I know that you were here messing around with these vermin at these parties, drinking and doing God knows what else. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't sound like your parent. I sound like your lover. Like your best friend and you know what as your best friend I don't think I'm ready for this measly little weekend visit of yours to be over yeah yeah I know I just passed your school <laughs> trust me I know the way to that place very very well <laughs> but I think that you and I should go on a little trip it's been a while since we've done that, right? <laughs> Remember how we used to skip school back in the day? <laughs> well, this will be just like that then. <laughs> You're smarter than everyone at that school anyway. <laughs> you don't need anyone there. <laughs> I think that maybe it's time for you to take a leave of absence, just for a little while. <laughs>